The history of any country is always bound with unrevealed secrets, sacred places and riddles which scientists have been trying to solve for decades. Kazakhstan is an ancient land. Its history keeps a lot of glorious names, events and facts, some of which are still covered with myths and legends. The Time Puzzle crew tries to understand the intricacies of ancient and modern mysteries of history, traveling around the country and visiting its most amazing corners. In this episode, the most mysterious place in Kazakhstan, who and why built a stone palace in the middle of the steppe. Huge ancient buildings dotted around the world. The Egyptian pyramids, megaliths in South and Central America, Maui and Aku on Easter Islands, sculptures of the heads of people and animals on Makawasi Plateau. Despite the development of science, researchers cannot reach common ground on how these massive constructions were built thousands of years ago. Modern engineers and builders cannot repeat such technologies. There is another such construction in Kazakhstan that attracts interest from researchers all over the world. There are many legends about it. Someone thinks that this is just a fortress. Others say that this place is sacred. Still others suggest the most unimaginable theories that this was made by gas from distant galaxies. There is a mysterious, unique structure in the foothills of the Kyrgyzian Alatau, in such quite an open valley. Who and why needed to build this complex? This unfinished monumental construction dates back to the 8th century. There are several assumptions about it. How does Akertas heal diseases? There are healing stones in Akertas. Stone heart, stone kidney and stone liver. Where else in the world are there such constructions? In 1996, there were French and Kazakh scientists here. They did a research. In their opinion, the construction complex Akertas was similar to the construction complexes that are located in Syria. What is the connection between Akertas and the Egyptian pyramids? Why people see UFOs here? History, mysteries and riddles of Akertas. Watch right now. Akertas, the last or screaming stone, stone trough. That's how this word can be translated. This place is shrouded in a huge number of secrets and legends. What can we say? Scientists still cannot reach common ground on when, why and who started the construction of this facility. My name is Andrei Slozhin. This is The Time Puzzle. Akertas is located 45 kilometers away from the ancient city of Taraz. It's very easy to get there now. The road runs through the most beautiful expanses and landscapes without occupying more than 30 minutes. And at the end of the way, the travelers are treated to sweeping views of the mysterious, dilapidated walls of red stone. Huge blocks are laid in such a way that they can stand without any binders. A lot of stones are scattered throughout the territory. Some researchers suggest that this structure was destroyed by some mysterious force. In fact, as we were told by Anna Krokosheva, the main custodian of the funds of the Reserve Museum, Monuments of Ancient Taraz, probably the building just wasn't finished. Construction started in the 8th century, but it is clear that the structure was not completed. There is no cultural layer. In other words, there are no archaeological finds. We see chaotically scattered stones. This is not because they fell from the walls, but because they were not brought to these walls. The walls were not plastered. There were no vaults. That is, practically it was left as we can see it now. The fortress was left approximately in the middle of the 8th century. The complex itself has a rectangular shape. 
the thickness of the outer walls reaches 10 meters. There is a large courtyard in the center, which is surrounded by stone columns. In addition to the columns and the courtyard, there are about 80 rooms in the complex. Special interest was caused by the so-called labyrinths. Researchers made an analogy of this structure with the labyrinth of King Minos and its Minotaur. There are interesting structures that are located in the corners of the fortress. They resemble such narrow labyrinths. If we still somehow can identify that this is a residential building, it is a cult room, then constructions that look like labyrinths. They are practically unknown. They are not investigated yet. Therefore, researchers are not sure what can such narrow long rooms connecting together like labyrinths be used for. And they all are at the corners of the fortress. That is, most likely they were needed for military mission, for defense, or like storage rooms. There is another version of the origin of this structure. It was put forward by the Kazakhstan engineer Viktor Luport in 1967. He saw a connection between Akhetas and the Egyptian pyramids of Cheops and Khafre. His theory is that if you mentally draw a line from the pyramids to the northeast, it will pass through Akhetas. Thus, Luport concluded that the pyramids and this complex were built by the Atlanteans and Lemurians. According to some researchers, the Lemurians were up to 12 meters high. Atlanteans were just below 5 meters. Ezoterrorists believe that the giants lived in our planet before humans. It was such a developed civilization that they had flying machines. They could also move huge loads through the air only by the power of thought. Cryptozoologists and ezoterrorists believe that they built all major megalithic structures on Earth. The pyramids in Egypt and South America, the Sphinx, stone statues on Easter Island, Stonehenge and Akhetas. It is possible that Luport made such a conclusion thanks to the legend which he was told when he came to study the stone complex. The legend says that the two giants decided to build a palace of unimaginable richness to conquer the heart of the beauty, which they wanted to marry. This was a giant father and a giant son. But the cunning beauty deceived her lover. When the construction was already going on and the father pulled stones from the mountain and threw them to his son, the son catched them and quickly piled the walls. At that moment, the son turned around and saw this beauty and lost all his strength, majestic forces. So the legend says that the construction was not completed. Ezoterrorists believe that the Atlanteans disappeared with Atlantis due to a planetary disaster and that they built a spare city for them in the steppes of Kazakhstan away from the seas and oceans. However, despite all the fairy tale nature of this legend, it gives a ground for theories of the researchers and scientists, because it is not possible to say for sure how exactly many ton stone blocks were transported to the site of Akhetas construction. But in this legend, there is the fact that the stones were moved through the air. Maybe there was some catapult or something. That is, here we see a stone mountain from where the stones were taken. But we do not see any traces of moving stones. And these stones are very heavy. They weigh up to several dozens of tons. Therefore, if they were rolled or moved somehow on boulders, on logs, there would still be traces of transportation or they could be sailed down the river. But there is neither a river nor water. Therefore, there are no traces of transportation. And if these stones were simply thrown, it would be an answer how these stones were transported. In other words, it is said in the legend that only giants could make such a construction. 
As you know, traces of ancient roads can survive for hundreds and even for thousands of years. Modern technologies make it possible to determine their presence and location with great accuracy. But Akertas carefully conceals the secret of its construction from the researchers. The traces of trenches would remain. They would be covered with vegetation, grass, but still if some movement was going on, it would all be revealed. Now with the help of aerial photography, archaeologists can already suggest where and what was located. Therefore, using a space image, this would be visible. We would not have noticed it from the ground, but it would all be clearly visible from the above. But studies from the air revealed no roads. Therefore, the only hypothesis acceptable to scientists is still the using of catapults to move stone blocks for half a kilometer. But no artifacts that confirm the use of catapults during construction were found. Akertas attracts not only scientists. It attracts a huge number of pilgrims from all over the country and even from abroad. After all, this place is full of amazing legends and beliefs. This is what the keeper of Akertas, Tilisbek Seriev, told us. My name is Seriev Tlesbek Dosim Kanuli. I have been working here for six years already. I'm the caretaker of these places. In six years, I've seen and heard a lot. I want to tell you everything I've seen and heard. Well, there is a very strong energy. Therefore, healers and quacks come here often, and they treat people. They first come here, they receive the energy and then bring people and cure them. We saw what and how do they do it. There are labeled stones. Many pilgrims who come here believe that there are magical stones in Akitas. Stone heart, stone kidney, stone liver. They make offerings to them, touch them, sit on them. It is believed that these stones can save you from all diseases. Here, by the way, is a stone heart. Most likely it received its name because of its characteristic shape, although scientists do not confirm the healing properties of such stones. But people believe. For example, this stone heart, stone kidneys. They say there is a stone backbone, stone liver, operating table, joints stone. There is a place for prayers. I saw how these healers lead one person not one, but three times. The first time the patient could not walk himself, he was carried on his children's hands. And the second time he was led by the hand, holding. And the third time this man walked himself. A feature of these stones. People sit down on them, lie down. Then the stone takes away all the bad things, all the diseases and a man takes energy and strength from the stone. There is a legend about the old man who was assigned by the ruler of that time to look after this place. However, no one knows his name. But pilgrims believe that this was Auliye Atta, the former ruler of the city of Taraz. I have not seen all this myself, but different healers, quacks, come here. The clairvoyants come here. They ask me to show these places. I show them and ask, what did they feel? They say that even at a distance, they feel the aura. They see the elders in white clothes, one or more elders. Sometimes pilgrims spend several days here. They spend the night in the open air expecting a miracle and enlightenment. Sometimes really incredible stories happen to them. 
I also wanted to say that my son has a friend. He's the famous healer. He lives in the city. His name is Fedya. This friend said to my son, I'm a healer and my strength is exhausted. I want to gain energy. Take me to your father. My son brought him here, and on the other side of the mountain, there is a place. It is called Karawil Tobe. That's where our healers gain strength and energy. My son and his friend went there and decided to stay there until the morning. And so, in the middle of the night, somewhere between 1 and 2 a.m., they saw a bright light. My son got a little scared and began to wake Fedya. And his friend whispered, Shh, be quiet. And they continued to lie. After a while, the bright light approached them again. Then Fedya was frightened and began to call for my son. But they continued to lie. And when the bright light was approaching for the third time, they were frightened and ran away from there. It was already dawn. They came home. I began to ask them what's wrong. They told about the light and that they were afraid that it could take them somewhere. I asked, where can it take you? I remember when I was young, I often read in the newspaper that someone took people away. Then, after a while, they were returned. I heard this incident from my son. I personally heard these stories. Perhaps the mysterious lights of Rakertas caused another version of the origin of this complex. There are people who are sure that this is the work of an alien civilization. Allegedly, aliens lived here, but some disease or cataclysms killed most of them. Then the humanoids buried their fallen tribesmen and established this complex as a grave monument. The version is certainly fantastic and can become a plot for a blockbuster. But according to the caretaker's words, he talked to a man whose words sounded a lot like truth. <laughs> Two years ago, tourists from Russia arrived here. The whole bus, there was a former pilot among the tourists. So this man talked with me for a very long time. He said that before aircrafts used to fly over Akutas. When he was young, he and his commander, when they flew over this place, over Akutas, they saw a flying saucer. The commander got very sick from fright. Flying saucers fly fast. The object appeared suddenly. The commander thought that there would be an accident in the sky. That former pilot then told me that he saw these plates two more times. Scientists wonder why the UFOs fly above Akutas. They think that perhaps these places are still being investigated or protected. However, this version carries no face of probability. I tend to believe that this place possesses a strong energy which can give strength. I think it is the truth. However, there is no photos nor videos of the appearance of UFOs in Arketas. Real scientists do not even consider such hypotheses. Bright glowing balls can be just a ball lightning, for example. However, the construction itself still leads them nowhere. The fact is that such facilities as Arketas are not usual for this region. Local houses and buildings were mostly made of clay. A striking confirmation of this are the finds made nearby in the city of Taraz. Akatas is a megalithic stone structure, more like a narrow building. Such assumption was told by Aseljan Shaidildaev, researcher of the Reserve Museum Monuments of Ancient Taraz. 
French and Kazakh scientists were here. They did the research. In their opinion, the construction complex Akertas was similar to the construction complexes that are located in Syria. Therefore, they believed that this is an Asian model of the Syrian construction complex. So Arabs built it, and Arabs transported these stones. However, it's also uncertain. There are just conjectures. While this whole story remains a mystery. One of the first written testimonies where Rakhir Tas is mentioned was made by the Taoist monk Chan Chun. According to legend, he went in search of the elixir of eternal life by order of Chenghis Khan. The monk passed more than one country and found himself on the land of great nomads. Akertas is found in written sources only from the middle of the 13th century, when the Taoist monk Chan Chun passed here. It was a monk's journey to the stake of the empire of Chenghisids. And there he wrote that on a caravan road he had met a red stone fortification which looked like a military facility. That is, there was written exactly that he saw a stone construction. Unfortunately, there is no data in the text about who conducted this construction. No drawings were found. Archaeologists say 200 years ago, Akhetas differed in appearance from what we see now. In 1905, the head of the Aulia Atta district and a member of the Turkistan Archaeological Society, Vasily Kalaur, wrote that the stone from the ruins of Akhetas is being exported intensely. This is confirmed by the data of modern archaeologists. For a long time, stone blocks from there were taken by the local population for household needs and for other purposes. Especially many stone blocks were used in the construction of Turkseed for the construction of railway bridges, foundations and buildings. About 150 to 200 years ago, the walls of Akutas were higher. There are records made by the Russian writer and artist Mikhail Znamensky. In 1864, he was part of a military expedition led by the general of Turkestan territory Chernyayev. He visited Akutas and made many sketches. Znamensky Znamensky discovered the walls preserved at the height of three or four bars. That is, we now see only two bars of bricks in this room. In some places, there is only one bar of bricks that is left, up to one layer. And Znamensky saw these walls at the height of two, 2.5 meters. That is, almost half of the complex was dismantled for building material in the late 19th and early 20th century. This structure began to be protected as a monument from the 80s of the 20th century. The drawings made by Znaminsky inspired many people to study this mysterious structure. The next who came here with a scientific expedition was a Russian and Soviet traveler, Vasily Bartold. There was also the assumption that this is a Christian Nestorian temple. It was put forward by the Russian Orientalist Bartold in 1894 because he found a stone with a picture of a fish. Missionaries of different religions traveled by the Great Silk Road. There were Nestorians, Buddhists and Zoroastrians. The first researchers, of course, made such assumptions, and they were based on the fact that there could be a Nestorian monastery here. And this version was made because fish image was found on some stone. But in fact, this stone has not survived to this day. That is, the researchers did not secure it. At that time, there had not been archaeological excavations yet. And for this reason, we could say when excavations were carried out, all these assumptions, they were already groundless. That is, according to the layout, it's not a monastery, not a temple. This is a fortress. Drawings of other Nestorian structures also destroy the version that it could be a Nestorian temple. Researchers have done a great job on comparing the temples, and they noticed one detail. 
temples and monasteries of the Nestorians were built with longitudinal axes from west to east. There is nothing like that in Akhetas. Some researchers say that in the 8th century, when the Arabs conquered these places, the commander of the Arabs, Kutayba, built his residence. I do not agree with this, because the Arabs did not reach these places until 715. And in 705, the Arab general Kutayba died, and the Arabs could not come to the territory of Taraz before the 740th year because there was the Turgesh Khaganate, and for about 30 years, they did not let the Arabs out of Tashkent in our direction. Therefore, the version that there were Arabs does not correspond to the facts. It remains unknown what tools were used by the mysterious builders of Akhetas. According to archaeologists, it is possible that the tools did not survive due to the nature of the soil. It is damp, which means that the metal could have deteriorated in such amount of time. In addition, this technique of processing stones is found only in this place. In the settlement of Taraz, boulders from the river were used, which were laid in the foundation without additional processing. The stones of the Akhetas complex are treated in a similar way with the technique of the builders of Baalbek in Lebanon. As well as here, scientists of Lebanon cannot explain the technology of construction. When studying stone blocks, scientists discovered the traces of the tools with which these stones were treated. We see the parts that were drilled, we see some slits, we see perfectly polished surfaces. We see specially made, straight at the jewelry level, slots, cuts, some oblique facets. But it is not known for sure what tools were used to make this. No tools of labor have been found. There are versions that relate Akhetas to one similar construction. Allegedly, these stones are nothing more than a separate complex of the ancient city of Kasribas. However, this is also just a guess. In the Book of the Ways and Countries of the Arabian geographer Ibn Qodat Beg, there is a description of many cities of ancient Kazakhstan, including Taraz and the same Kasribas. The author also writes about Akhetas and mentions it as Khazar. One of the meanings of this word in Muslim architecture is the palace of the defensive type. There is bare steppe and mountains around. Surveyors say that underground waters in this region lie at a depth of about 180 meters. And then the question arises, who and why needed to build this megalithic structure in such a place that is totally unfit for living? Few people know, but there was water in Akhetas. At least, archaeologists were able to find a secret water pipe, which was hidden from the eyes of an ordinary traveler. Indeed, settlements were built where there were natural sources of water. This is from time immemorial. At the riverbeds, at the ancient wells, we find settlements everywhere. However, there is no water in the foothill part. There is practically no water on this territory. But during the construction of the building, the architects thought and calculated everything. Archaeologists have discovered a ceramic water pipe called Kubur here. It is made of connecting ceramic pipes. Water had to flow through the pipes from the mountain gorge. And the water pipe stretched for a distance of 5 to 8 kilometers. According to the assumption of archaeologists, this water pipe stretched to the gorges of Shoshkala and Uzunbulak. In the mountains, with the help of an earthen embankment, a dam was raised and clay pipes were stretched there. Interestingly, such clay pipes exactly copy the water pipe which was discovered in the ancient settlement of Taraz. Ceramic water pipe was found practically in all Central Asian cities. In Taraz, in towns nearby Taraz. The same ceramic pipes were also found here, on the territory of the Akhetas complex. The size, the composition, even the technique of manufacturing are the same. It is the same system. 
In addition to this water pipe, there was a garden and park area planned where irrigation canals were made. That is, it was planned to dig them. They began to be laid, the irrigation canals. That is, people in the Middle Ages thought it over and took it into account. In addition to the numerous rooms that, according to archaeologists, were meant for housing, there are facilities in Akita's purpose of which cannot be explained by scientists. On the right side of the entrance, there is an unusual complex. There we do not see the room partitions, but we see a large hall where we found three entrances and one exit. When archaeologists cleared this complex, they realized that it was cult part of the fortress, and most likely it should have been the foundation of the one cathedral mosque. Despite such a huge number of questions and wide spots in the history of Akhetas, scientists still adhere to one version. It is connected with the military actions and events that occurred during the period when the construction of the stone complex supposedly began. Just near Akhetas, near Atlas, there was a Talas battle between the Chinese and the Arabs which in fact had a great influence on the subsequent history of the region. That is, as it is known, the Chinese and Arabs. Their interests have collided right on this territory, on the territory of the Talas Valley. Nobody wanted to concede, and in 751 there was a massive battle. It lasted for several days. And at the decisive moment, the Karluks, who were part of the Chinese army, they turned their weapons against the Chinese. This version may be the most plausible due to the location of Akhetas. As a rule, the fortresses were erected in places from which the terrain could be seen for miles around. It was a structure for the residence of a feudal lord, which was surrounded by a massive wall. Behind it, there were various fortifications and bastions. The main force was also located outside the walls of the fortress. The southern side of the fortress is covered by the Kyrgyz Ridge, and all the other sides are well open for the view. That is, this place was built not as just a city or a certain locality. This place was built specially for defense. That is, this is the most successful strategic position for the fortress. But here we again face some mystery. Such a large-scale construction required a huge number of workers. They could be either local peasants or captured warriors. And as always, in places of large construction, archaeologists find burial places of people who died during construction. As we know, the Great Chinese Wall was also built by a huge number of armies of slaves. And during this hard work, they broke their arms, legs, they were buried there as well. Here on the territory of the archaeological complex, it can be said that there were very little archaeological excavations made. But where the excavations were carried out, no human remains were found anywhere. That is, no bones or lost pottery, coins. Well, archaeologists have not found any lifting material yet. The stone using which the complex is made is also interesting. There are no rock formations nearby except one hill. It is located half a kilometer from Akhetas. It was there that archaeologists discovered a quarry where the building material was mined. <laughs> The peculiarity of the red stone is that it is soft, it crumbles quickly, and so it can easily be crushed and shaped. Therefore they chose this stone on purpose, and all these stones were made by the hands of our ancestors. Everywhere there are handprints of people. They neatly crushed it and shaped it. Some call this place Karuan Sarai. Others call it a temple, but all this remains a mystery.
And this mystery makes scientists, explorers, esotericists and pilgrims come here. The crew of the Time Puzzle spent the whole day in Akhetas. Shooting is a difficult process and it is time consuming. Sometimes we work without breaks for lunch and rest. But either the delight of an unusual and mysterious structure or indeed a special energy of this place, something gave us strength. Even at the end of a hard day, everyone felt cheerful and full of energy. No doubt, Akhetaz is one of the most mysterious, unexplored and sacred places in Kazakhstan. Scientists still have a lot of work to do and who knows what amazing discoveries are waiting to be made. My name is Andrei Slozhin. It was a time puzzle. See you.